Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be shedding light on the problems appertaining to not being able to enter into hyperfocus when attempting to complete challenging tasks. So, why is it deemed to be problematic to be unable to enter into hyperfocus when attempting to complete challenging tasks? Without further ado, without further delay, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. Lamentably, much of my dismay, much of my consternation, much of my chagrin, much of my agony, much of my grief, and much of my distress, the problems appertaining to being unable to enter into hyperfocus, part of the advent of attempting to complete challenging tasks, are indeed multitudinous. They are calamitous in nature. How so, you may ask? Well, without further delay, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. When you're Unable to enter into hyperfocus when attempting to complete challenging tasks, you're not going to be able to work as productively nor as efficiently when attempting to complete challenging tasks as you otherwise would be able to do so if you were able to enter into hyperfocus when attempting to complete challenging tasks. Additionally, you're going to be more prone, more susceptible to make an oversight when attempting to complete challenging tasks if you're unable to enter into hyperfocus when attempting to complete challenging tasks. Furthermore, it becomes more of a long-winded, prolonged process to complete challenging tasks if you're unable to enter into hyperfocus when attempting to complete challenging tasks. It also becomes more cumbersome to complete challenging tasks if you're unable to enter into hyperfocus when attempting to complete challenging tasks. You're also more susceptible to being distracted by distractions if you're unable to enter into hyperfocus when attempting to complete challenging tasks. So, if you're unable to enter into hyperfocus when attempting to complete challenging tasks, You're more than likely not going to be able to become hyperproductive. If you do not become hyperproductive, you're more apt to live a banal, monotonous, repetitious, uneventful, uninteresting, and unaccomplished life. If you struggle to focus, on completing challenging tasks is going to be all the more arduous, all the more cumbersome, and all the more ineffably difficult for you to make inroads in your life towards attaining unprecedented, profound, unalloyed success. We want to be able to always thrust our lives into a forward movement trajectory. We never want to regress. We never want to stagnate. We never want to be impeded, nor encumbered, nor stymied, nor stifled, nor obstructed. We want to be able to manifest a prosperous, auspicious, abundant, blissful future for ourselves into reality. We want to be able to live highly accomplished, meaningful, fulfilling, worthwhile, meritorious, laudable, interesting, eventful, and inspirational lives. We want to be exemplary to others. So, if you're not able to enter into hyperfocus and struggle to get anything accomplished when you're attempting to complete tasks, it is going to undermine your ability to Make inroads in your life towards becoming successful. You do not want to undermine your latent potential. You want to be able to actualize your latent potential and manifest the quintessential version of yourself into reality. You do not want to live a life that is fraught with qualms, nor misgivings, nor regrets. So, when you're on it, when you're unable to enter in your hyperfocus when attempting to complete tasks, Can you let me know? you're less apt, you're less prone to become an 
a hyperproductive individual. And that can indeed be deemed problematic if you want to be able to live a highly accomplished life. Some people do not give an iota about that. They do not care if they live meaningful, fulfilling, worthwhile, laudable, meritorious, interesting, eventful, inspirational lives. They do not care if they are profoundly successful. But if you are an entrepreneur, if you are a creative, if you are an innovator, if you are an inventor, if you are a forward-thinking maverick, and if you are a pioneer of your own destiny, then it is of eminent importance to become profoundly successful. And it is of eminent importance to live a highly accomplished life. It is pivotal, paramount, incumbent to perform your due diligence. You want to be able to make meaningful, worthwhile contributions to the world on a global scale. And if you're unable to enter into hyperfocus when attempting to complete tasks, it's going to be far more cumbersome and far more arduous and far more ineffably difficult for you to make meaningful, profound contributions to the world on a global scale. So it's not only going to undermine your potential and adversely impinge on your productivity. But it's also going to render it more cumbersome for you to make inroads in your life towards attain an unprecedented success. However, that may not be everyone's overarching goal. And it's going to become more cumbersome to reach your overarching goals and reach your higher aspirations and manifest your ambitious, lofty, grandiose dreams into reality if you're unable to enter into hyperfocus when completing tasks. We need to enter into hyperfocus when attempting to complete tasks so that we can complete tasks more efficiently, more diligently, and more sedulously, and more expeditiously. We want to be able to efficaciously complete tasks, and consecutively doing so can allow us to become hyperproductive and more apt to reach our overarching goals and reach our higher aspirations and manifest our grandiose, lofty, ambitious, overarching visions into reality. We want to be able to bring our dreams to fruition. And if we cannot enter into hyperfocus, if we struggle to focus, if we easily give in to distractions, we're not going to be able to accomplish as much as we otherwise could have accomplished if we were able to enter into hyperfocus on a whim and be hyperproductive and more easily make headway towards reaching our overarching goals and reaching our higher aspirations and manifesting our ambitious visions into reality. So I hope that you found this video to be insightful and enthralling. It is imperative that you can seamlessly enter into hyperfocus. Do not shirk on doing so. Do not neglect to do so. It's problematic if you are needlessly draining your mental bandwidth by pivoting from task to task and not getting anything accomplished. You want to be able to live a highly accomplished life. And in order to do so, you need to be able to enter into hyperfocus so that you can become highly productive. Or I should say hyperproductive and be able to actualize your latent potential. So I hope that you found this video to be engrossing, enthralling, insightful, and of course, riveting. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.